The Sami are the indigenous people of northern Europe. For thousands of years they have relied on their traditional life of fishing, hunting, and reindeer husbandry to thrive in their homeland of northern Scandinavia. They call their homeland Satmi. Satmi is divided into several regions, each with a distinct subculture and dialect. These dialects are not mutually intelligible. One of them is Suomi, the national language of Finland. The Suomi languages are not of the Indo-European language family. They are of the finno ugric family, along with Estonian and Hungarian. To remember their ancestors and to communicate with spirits, the Sami composed song poems called Yoak. To the Sami, a Yoak is not merely a song, but an attempt to capture the essence of something. One does not yoak about a river, one yoaks the river itself. You are listening to a yoak that has been infused with heavy metal. This music is just one example of how the Sami have been influenced by modern culture. Sami rock stars and rappers are a testament to the effect of globalization of their culture. Despite this influence, the yoke is still very popular among the Sami today. And because of modern permutations of the yoke, like this song, Sami music is now more popular than ever. Historically, the Sami have relied on reindeer as a primary means of subsistence. They are the only reindeer pastoralists in the world today. As they do in the wild, the Sami reindeer graze on lichen, which grows on the base of trees in forested regions. Lichen is not a plant, it is a symbiosis of algae and a fungus. Because of deforestation, construction of highways, and economic disincentives, many Sami are now forced to keep their reindeer in pens and feed them hay and alfalfa. Cultural struggle between the Sami and the Scandinavians is nothing new. It goes back to the time when the Sami were derogated as Laps or as Screedfin. The word Screedfin is the root of the word Ski and the word Finn, after which Finland is named. The Sami are the original cross-country skiers. More conflict arose in the 1930s with the rise of nationalism and with missionary encroachments. Structural violence has also occurred with the construction of hydroelectric plants and with the neglect of Sami hunting and fishing rights. Today, the Sami are more involved in the societies with which they coexist. They use peaceful protests to express their grievances, and they work with governments to ensure their rights are protected. The advent of modern technology has greatly affected the Sami way of life. Most Sami now use modern appliances and seek education for their children. It is hard to find a Sami herdsman who doesn't own a two-way radio. The result of all this is that the Sami now have a simpler life, with more education and a greater life expectancy. Unfortunately, this has caused decline in the use of the Sami languages, because while the Sami languages have many words to describe things in nature, like weather, reindeer, and snow cover, their language lacks many words that are useful in modern society. There exists between 80,000 and 100,000 Sami alive today. Only 10% of them still herd reindeer. None speak only Sami. Although globalization has had many positive and some negative impact on the Sami, it has irrevocably changed almost every aspect of the Sami life. Despite this, the Sami have retained their cultural heritage, their strong nuclear family structure, and their music. <laughs>